Hi guys, welcome to 123, and in this video we will show you a first look at the HP ProBook 430 G6. The ProBook 430 G6 is currently the smallest model of the series and has a 13.3 inch display. If you want a bigger display, HP also sells a 14 inch, 15.6 inch and 17.1 inch in the ProBook 400 range. This ProBook comes with the Intel Core i5 8265U processor, 8GB of RAM, 256GB SSD and a full HD display. The design of the previous ProBook, the 430G5, did not last long and I think this is a good thing. You can compare the two models from the link in the video now. The G5 had a dark plastic case whereas the G6 now has a really nice silver case. On our model, both the palm rest and the display cover are still made of smooth silver plastic. The unit feels sturdy and does not bend when I apply pressure to it. The craftsmanship is also really good. HP have done a really good job with this laptop. The G6 has a wide drop down hinge that grips the display and allows the display to open at a 180 degree angle. We could also open the display cover with one hand, underlining how well balanced the hinges are. The ProBook G6 is about 100 grams lighter than the ProBook G5, one millimeter thinner and more compact overall. Hence the G6 has much thinner display bezels, which I really like. The good thing about business laptops is that they have a much wider variety of ports. On the right side of the G6 we have a full HDMI port, a RJ45 Ethernet port, along with USB type A port and a headphone jack. There is also a USB type C port, but unfortunately it's not a Thunderbolt 3 port, but at least you can charge the ProBook with a type C cable if you needed to. The type C port supports display out too, and you also have an AC power port which lights up to let you know when the G6 is being charged. On the left hand side of the G6 you have a Kensington lock, a USB type A port and an SD card reader port. The SD card reader sits flush inside the laptop. So you could use this to upgrade the storage of the laptop without opening the case. You can expect the SD card reader to transfer at speeds of around about 81 megabytes per second. And beside the SD card reader, we also have a hard disk light indicator. The G6 trackpad measures 11 by 6.5 centimeters, which is pretty large for a 13.3 inch laptop. The trackpad is made of relatively smooth plastic on which it is easy to slide one's fingers. Also included is a fingerprint reader that supports Windows Hello. This allows you to log into the laptop with one touch. The G6 keyboard is now smaller and HP have removed a row of dedicated navigation keys which sat to the right of the keyboard. The keys are a pleasure to type on and the sturdy case does not bow or bend when typing. I think this is a welcome change. The keyboard feels much smaller now and just feels better overall. The flat black keys have two stage backlight and feature off, on and brighter. HP gives customers the choice between a 1366 by 768 display and a 1920 by 1081. However, the viewing angle for the 1366 by 768 is not great. Also, because of the dim display, you might find it hard to use outdoors. Let's show you a quick look at the viewing angle. Memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. Do you know how to fly this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. Another good feature about the G6 over the G5 is it won't leave your fingerprints on the case. It's a really nice feature because it won't show wear and tear quite as much. Like any thin laptop, it will be prone to heat and the G6 is no different. However, the G6 has its heat grill hidden away inside the hinge. Once the heat starts, the fans will start, and here we should be able to show you how loud the fans get. Across the top of the display, we have a 720p HD camera, a status indicator light, and two mic pinholes. Our model didn't have an infrared sensor, however, you would need this for face recognition. The G6 is not a gaming laptop in disguise, and this shows in our 3D Mark score. The Intel 620 graphics is powerful enough to play older games like Bioshock Infinite at 720p, 
the current AAA titles are out of the question. You can't connect an external GPU either, which would have allowed for some serious gaming. I would recommend looking at the 455G6, which I reviewed recently, and here's the link. You could add another RAM module, and this would put the graphics in dual channel mode. However, it would still not be powerful enough for more demanding tasks like CAD or video editing. The G6 also comes with a carry bag and an AC power pack. This is the Australian New Zealand power pack, however if you're in the US you would expect a US power pack. The G6 is easy to upgrade and you can do this by removing the bottom cover. Plastic clips hold the bottom case in place as well so I would recommend being careful when you're trying to pry it free. The system supports 64GB of RAM so you can upgrade that. There is also an empty 2.5 inch drive bay if you wanted to add an SSD or a HDD. The G6 has an excellent 45 watt hour battery and when browsing the web can last for around about 9 hours. The HP ProBook 430 G6 is an excellent laptop for students and small businesses. Its battery life, upgradability, lightweight and sturdy design are really impressive, but it's let down by its dim display. Guys, if you want to check out the other HP ProBook reviews that I've done, click the links now.